handmade mm -hmm. or hacking? <laughs> oh, only two? That's the only one I have. <laughs> like, if you have an... <laughs> like, I know there is more. So if there is another one that okay. comes to your mind, just go, like... No, no, but let's uh, let's let's uh, let's take one of these. I mean, I, I can just do hacking since it's such a. I mean, I guess that's where a lot of people put me. So, <laughs> all right, yes. Yeah, so H like in hacking. So hacking has been a topic that I've been interested in for many many years, and uh, and where I really got interested in trying to understand how how fashion could be hacked. If fashion is an operating system that is deeply tied into, into capitalism and consumer society. And it is sort of our way to, to operate in the world, really, through the way we dress and through the way we appear. How could this be hacked? How can we, we hack into this, meaning that we make it more engaging, we make it more participatory, we allow people more agency to uh, engage in fashion in many different ways. Um, that has really been how I imagine that we have a lot to learn from a hacker approach and the hacker mentality and the hacker skills and tools to change the fashion system. What I find extremely interesting with hacking too is that it is not necessarily reformist versus revolutionary, you know, meaning that, you know, should it be slow increase of change or should it be like a rupture and we should have a new system and things. Hacking is this interesting sort of approach that is sort of in between, if you want to say so. It, it does intervene in a reformist system, but at the same time, on a local level, it, it offers sort of a revolutionary change, you know, because it is so hands-on and it really shrinks down a problem to something we can address and really rebuild. At the same time, it's, it's also a mixture between it opposes something while it also proposes something. You know, it says that this is not working, but it, at the same time, a hack, a successful hack, actually does change it into a proposition. It does it, this is how it should be instead. So there's something that is not very abstract. It doesn't push things into the future. A hack, a successful hack, actually manifests the change itself. You know, it makes it real. Also, another thing is that it's not necessarily radically different, you know, successful sort of hacks, if you want to say so, like Wikipedia, you know, is in a sense, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, but it's open and it's accessible and everybody can change things there. You know, it's like Linux operating system, you know, it is just like Windows, but it's open, you know, so, so I think at the same time, what the hack can offer us is really a, a shift of mindset into ways that could be radically more engaging and open and, and participatory. At the same time, as it doesn't necessarily change the look of things. It doesn't necessarily change too much of our sort of default settings in the world, if you want to say so. And I think that's really what could make hacking extremely powerful. And, and, and of course, this is slightly different than, you know, states hacking each other and you know surveillance and all these things so hacking has of course a lot of other connotations too but this is what i tried to pull out of hacking and make into a suggestion that we could radically reimagine the way we work with fashion having a hacker approach to it